This is now we're going to see how to increase the object detection speed with YOLO by four or five times. In this video, we're going to see eight different key factors that affect the object detection speed. Also, what you need to change to increase the speed. And also, we're going to see some practical implementations in action. So I'm going to take different videos and we're going to see the non-optimized versions against the optimized versions. You need to follow this if you're getting a very low frame rate. So if you're not able to get many frames per second when doing object detection with YOLO, also, if you need a system that can analyze and perform object detection on a very large volume of data, so if you have thousands and thousands of hours to process for your project with object detection, then you absolutely need to optimize the performance. Otherwise, you will waste a lot of resources because it's not optimized or in any case, it will take a very long time to perform the detection on all this data. And also, it's essential if you need to perform object detection in real time in order to process all the frames that the camera gives to your system. But also, if you need to run detection on multiple cameras, so if you have like CCTV systems and you have multiple camera, if you don't optimize the system, you can't process everything on a single machine. So we're going to see how with this system, we can have a single mas machine that can process 10 or plus cameras in real time. So this is huge. And also this is essential if you have an edge device like Nvidia Jetson, they are very limited in power. So you need to optimize your system to the maximum to get a decent performance to perform detection in real time and more. So this is only some of the things that will be useful, but anyway, it's good to optimize the system for saving costs and having always better performance. If this is good for you, let's go.